Hello to my friends and my fellow souls. I'm here with another collective reading for you today. I uh, was going through all of the all of the things that I had already gone over and I kept thinking about all of the things that I noticed but I didn't end up saying anything about and I was really regretting it. I was just uh, really noticing that there were things that I really wanted to share with you guys. So I'm back with another uh, late evening reading for me. Um, a lot of the things that I was pulling out, uh, these are just a couple messages as we're getting started here. I started up these little cards, uh, these index cards for a couple extra messages while I, while I can't necessarily grab another deck right now. Um, but, uh, some of the things that I was getting before is that a lot of us are dealing with a kind of, uh, a very difficult force, something like an oppressive force or something like that that's going on in the background, uh, of our lives. And also that some of us are working very hard on, uh, either alchemizing our emotions or our some of our some of the difficult things in, in our in our lives uh maybe maybe some maybe some negative relationships and stuff like that in the past being turned into something else here growth is change yeah people growing apart too as well but let's see here so from the very very beginning we had empathy the universe has your back or is in your corner in this case um guides and ancestors is here Romance sort of came out in the reverse, but yeah, I'm, I'm sensing more like a... I don't think we're going to be focusing too much on that at the moment, although, you know, it, it could still be relevant, but I'm going to be talking about things in broad terms because people can have similar feelings for for different... Most of, This one doesn't want to come up. Yeah, hope at the bottom of the deck. Then we have alchemy there too, just as I was talking about the alchemizing. That's what I was... Um, Changes the universal constant. That's what I was. That's actually the card that made me mention that that inner uh, alchemization of certain things. Uh, so yeah, we'll leave that that hope here at the bottom. Still, regardless, I apologize if I'm a little quieter at, uh, during this reading. I'm just uh, I'm just feeling basically the energy of of how this is going, and it's just how I felt would be the most appropriate to talk. I guess I don't know. Maybe it's more of a maybe it's more of a a calmness thing. Like maybe this communication with the Ace of Swords coming out here. Maybe this type of communication is actually more important for whoever is listening on the other end there so thank you so much for your time and i appreciate it thank you again i'm very very grateful we have 23 subscribers now and the number keeps going up every day and i'm beyond grateful to everyone who has taken some comfort or has been able to <clears throat> feel a sense of uh, guidance from these readings ten of cups and the four of cups here yeah there's um Let's see here. Something that you're, again, I've been saying a lot, something that you have been wanting didn't necessarily come through, but there is more stuff that's coming in here. Let's focus. I just heard the universe say I need to, I need to focus more. I'm just, I'm very, it's hard to describe. I'm feeling the energy of all of this kind of a, uh, hmm. Let me just sit with this for a moment and see. Yeah, I can already tell. The thing is, right now the, the channel is very small, but I know a lot of people tend to go back towards these readings later on. So the majority of the people who end up watching these things will be watching them much further in the future. For people who are here now, um, I'm definitely getting a lot of really specific and different energies. But um, overall, in the future, there seems to be like a more laid back vibe going on, but maybe not laid back per se, but I don't know. I'm getting like a, there's alchemy again. God coming out and empathy again. Um, death is transformation as transformation on the back of the deck. Let's just see what we can do here with. Um... All right, let me let me start with with some some questions here, because uh, that was mostly just stuff that I had been feeling in the general, and I am having a hard time describing it. It's more like a color than it is an actual emotion or a vibe that I can describe. Again, maybe you, some of you are the maybe some of you are the your vibes speak louder than your words. Uh, get those cards a lot in the readings. Feeling trapped, yeah, that was what something I was picking up on. <clears throat> maybe holding on too tightly as well. Maybe feeling trapped in holding on too tightly. That does sound difficult. I understand that. The Five of Swords coming out. Yes. Again, I've, I've been feeling this feeling, and I, I wonder if there's someone who's circulating between my piles who, um, who has been dealing with some kind of, like, shady 
maybe not shady per se. Like I'm, I'm getting such a feeling of like a and and something that is very important, like something that's a big a big wish for somebody. Is just not it either didn't work out or something got messed up, sort of as a result of of some kind of larger. I don't want to say institution, but it feels like it feels like the law was wrong, basically, like kind of a thing, like 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 something that was supposed to not let you down ended up causing problems. Um, and this can be for a number of different reasons. It could also be because of like a familial, an actual close relationship, familial relationship, maybe like a mother figure for some people. Um, and that's really difficult. I've, I've definitely had my fair share of breakdowns in my family and stuff like that. And a lot of, a lot of them ended up leading to me just not speaking to those people anymore, to me cutting those people off with the Knight Page of Swords here. I did it as kindly as I could, but at the end of the day, I wasn't willing to stand by their, their traditions, quote unquote, and the things that they thought were acceptable at the time because those things were hurting me severely. So, um, over time we came to talk about those things more and we have a more working relationship and I actually talked to my therapist a lot about it. Um, so therapy might be something that you should be looking into in the near future. If you do have some of these issues, um, I'm going to mention it a lot. I'm going to mention it in a lot of my piles cause I love you guys. And in most of my collective readings too. Um, and I don't want you guys to have to suffer without having someone there to listen to you when you're overwhelmed by so many different things, when you feel trapped. Yeah, the six of pentacles. Yeah, you want you want someone to be able to give back to you in some way. And uh and there are people around that are willing to do that for you. There's a queen of pentacles and then we got the the queen of wands out here. So there's there's a different energy, like a more nurturing version of that kind of energy that may be present in some of our lives that we um maybe having nightmares and stuff like that too but again then, then there's the page of pentacles under there too um there is there's i think in this collective for the time being and i'm going to try to get a feel more for i don't know i'm just not going to focus on the specifics of the energy i'll just do my best to give a, an overall there's another death transformation death is transformation I think I'm going to go for more like an overall in this situation rather than just focusing on the issue with, with the, this mother particularly, because I don't feel like those sorts of energies are worth, worth wasting our time on. Um, uh, and if you would like, uh, a, and I don't mean it, obviously discussing certain things is, is obviously worth wasting time on, but I'm not going to waste time on, on continuing to navigate. Like I'm not going to read into this particular person. I'm just going to focus on giving you advice basically. So it's going to be more, more based around what you can do than, uh, what the other person is based around. So rhythms and cycles, noticing the rhythms and cycles of your life, noticing what is it that causes you to forget to do certain things that are important to you? What is it that causes you to, uh, uh, end up missing or skipping meals? What is it that causes you to end up getting anxious? What is it that causes just the simple little things that we can do throughout our lives? And if there is really nothing that you can point out in terms of any of the issues, just notice the, the, the good and positive rhythms. Like, what is it that you feel when you end up laying down in, in bed to go to sleep for the day? What is it you feel when you wake up in the morning? And once you start to notice those rhythms, you can start to see if you are stuck in a cycle. Um, you also do have a lot of love and devotion around you. And also this is a the source void as in like more like a chaos um, as the as the deity type of a energy, like a primordial source kind of support. Crystals might be important to some of you. Some of you might want to look into doing more crystal healing and stuff, or just uh, do some uh, do some drink more water is definitely a big thing. Drink more water and get more sunshine. Treat yourself more like a plant. I'm hearing because you need to, you need to your spirit team, your spirit guardians, if you will, the spirit guardian card. You have you have you have support, and. Uh, it is, it is, and here's another change in the universe, constant coming out. Noti noting the cycles and rhythms of when you need more and when you need less and, and being, you know, honoring that, being as, as comfortable as you can with the fact that you know that there are going to be some changes here and there. Um, but as for this other situation, as, as for whatever the situation is that was very controlling is the best way that I can describe it, there is going to be a new opportunity that's coming up here that's going to be able to write this. Again, with the, that was the, uh, page of uh pentacles that we pulled out and the king of cups yeah 
So some, whatever this is, this is there are new opportunities to try to solve this. Whether you want to or not is up to you because I'm not going to be telling you who you should or shouldn't hang out with. But there will be new opportunities to try to find a better sense of like harmony, unity, the pushing back of expectations, seeing eye to eye is really like visible in this card with the with the shared eye in the center there. So you'll be able to see eye to eye with others a bit better. Let me check the timer here. Not bad, 10.52. All right. <clears throat> okay. All righty, all righty. Let's pull out... I'm actually going to save these for right now because I want to get a few more tarot cards here and see if we have any repeats because we pulled out quite a few, but I'd still... Whoop, there we go. Knight of Coins. Yeah, that would be the Jack of... That's right there, literally on top of it. So you have some stuff that's coming in. You have some nice stuff that's coming in. If anyone was here during some of the trauma stuff about um, you're going to get the best cheese uh, from a reading, I don't remember exactly which reading that was. It might be a pick a pizza reading, but I'm not 100% sure. Then, um, then know that that good cheese is on the way for the metaphor for what it is. Seven of Swords is coming out, I think, again, but I'm not going to mess up the whole pile to do that. Um, so yeah, definitely... All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. If we really want to go over what these negatives might be, then we can go ahead and do that. So what, Spirit, what is, what is the intentions of this negativity here? The Eight of Wands, so that's just being slow. The King of Wands upright is not manipulative. Three of Swords in reverse, so that's some unprocessed trauma. And then some stuff that's like uh, buried. And the Nine of Wands in reverse, getting like none of what they want. And the Ace of Cups. And yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> now, now you'll understand why I didn't want to go through that. Because as soon as we start pulling stuff like that, it's like, yeah, well, you're going to get an answer to your question. And the answer is going to be that someone wasn't strong enough to be kind to you. Or something, some kind of governmental uh, uh, setup didn't hold up to the way that it's supposed to. It's, it's not able to handle whatever is going on at the moment. I hope that these are all focusing okay. But yeah, no, whatever it is, I don't think it was an intentional, like, yeah, there's some underhandedness and some controlling stuff, but I think maybe the underhanded controlling thing maybe led to people, like, walking away in a certain instance, and now, now there's, there's more of an open line to communication, maybe because this person realized that they were kind of being an asshole, basically. Or, or whatever it is, is just, like, completely overwhelmed with, with, like, like, if it's a work situation, it might just be management is just being really crappy at the top and just looking at the things that they wish that they had versus actually taking advantage of with the magician here and then with the three of wands in reverse. They're just overly looking into what might be possible um, uh, for their own benefit versus working on those possibilities versus actually putting the work in to make themselves better people or to make a better company or whatever the case may be. Your layers are what make you beautiful. Nurture yourself. Porter Robinson on this one. Actually, man, I think I was supposed to put Porter Robinson in another thing. Whatever. I, I think people can probably look it up. It was Mother was the song for this Nurture Yourself card. And notice the cycles and rhythms of your life. Yeah, we had that other cycles and rhythms card that was coming up. So what can we do here? I'll go back to this one. What can we do here to better notice the cycles and rhythms of our life? Don't just go inward. Don't just be with other people. Don't focus on the physical as much. Hmm. Maybe getting out there a bit more. Making the right choices is coming through. Um, and maybe maybe deciding when to go it alone and when to go it, go through this with other people. Um, and not necessarily worrying too much about reaching perfection in it. Um, 
like you're not noticing these cycles and rhythms because you want to become a perfect person necessarily although it would be nice i'm sure um if some of us were able to become perfect people but i don't think that's going to be anything that happens anytime soon because life is just infinite growth really we had that kind of growth concept coming in a lot so i really don't think that anyone can get to be perfect but noticing the cycles and rhythms of your life noticing like when you start to feel like noticing what days you if you're if, just as an example if you were trying to gain or lose weight your um your mindset would be more more suited to you if you were more focused on what made you feel or feel physically or emotionally in such a way that caused you to uh, or causes you to engage in behaviors that would make you do the opposite of the the weight adjustment you were trying to go through. And for me, in my case, I uh, I had a period of time where I wasn't able to eat a whole lot, um, just in general. And then as soon as I was able to eat again, I ended up uh, like kind of overeating a lot of the time. And uh, I'm I'm working on getting through that kind of a situation. And I'm I'm making sure that I get like the reasonable amount of calories that I need and everything like that as a result, because I noticed that cycle of me overeating was eventually going to result in me being unhappy with the way that I looked, um, and unhappy with the way that I felt. Uh, and also I can't afford any new clothes right now. So I, I don't, I can't change that much. Otherwise I'm not going to have anything to freaking wear anyways. Uh, but yeah, noticing certain things and then just being willing to, there we go, stand still and flow and earth. I love these colors coming out as well. Um, being able to just come to a standstill and recognize like, okay, all right, okay, I see this is going on. Not to judge it, not to make yourself feel like garbage, but just to recognize where these things are happening because then that means the next time that you step into that kind of a situation, the next time that situation comes up, you're going to be all the more likely to have remembered a little bit about that that previous experience that you had where you you just examined what it was gently and you're going to be like, no, I actually, I actually do know that I'm probably not supposed to be doing this because I really thought about it and I know. Um, uh, of course, it's easy and we all make silly little mistakes. That's why I say don't be perfect about it. Don't hurt yourself with with the tools that are meant to that are meant to make you grow with the things that are just natural to you don't hurt yourself for things that are natural to you is what i'm hearing following the beat of your own drum as well like whatever suits you that's just a metaphor about the weight thing like that can apply to a thousand different things in your life um like if you're trying to have a certain outcome in a relationship with whether this be um, especially with like the familial relationship that we were we were figuring out, I'm definitely getting that that like everyone here again is just very very protected from certain things. Like there's a reason that that um, there is a reason that some of us are uh, just not seeing a lot of the negativity that they may have expected to see in their lives, um, and I think that uh, for the oh. No, my cat's giving us an earthquake. Juniper. Or no, that was Conti. Never mind. Oh, well. The little beans. Um, uh, sorry about the, the shake on the camera there. The, 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 the lovely little kitten came to scratch and alert me to the fact that I might be taking a little bit too long in this concept. But you are, you are very protected, basically, is what's, what's being said here. Whatever made you feel... A true sacrifice can only be given out of out of like love, and we have uh, I believe that's forty four right there as well as number one. Um, you are very protected in this time. Um, you are very protected in this time, but I think one of the biggest messages that I'm pulling away from all of this is that when we've experienced a lot of hurt or we've experienced like a a certain lack in in integrity for the things that we have looked up to it can become very very difficult to identify it can become very difficult to identify the difference between some of these more negative uh people and situations versus people who are just kind of doing their best um and it can be harder to communicate a lot of the things and ideas and things that we do, things that we like to see in our lives and the things and ideas that maybe we may want to share. It can be hard to even celebrate our little achievements um, 
because it, 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 it's a huge breach of trust is the thing. Like when, when certain situations like this don't work out the way that they're supposed to, especially with like parental or governmental situations, it's a huge breach of trust. Um, like for people who have been wronged by, by like hospital or healthcare, for people who have been wronged by all sorts of different like therapy and stuff like that, talking to a therapist that hurts you more or helps you less gives you the wrong therapy advice. Is coming through here. Some of us have gotten the wrong freaking advice in therapy, and it fucked. No, excuse me. It, it effed us up for a long time. Excuse, I try not to shit score on the channel. I know that I'm allowed to, but I just don't feel like it. I, I like to just uh, keep it like PG-13. So that one snuck out on me. That one really snuck out. But uh, yeah, no, no. Somebody, somebody effed up really, really bad for for some of the people here, and um, I am sorry if you don't hear it from them. At least I can offer you an apology. But yeah, um, you will, you're going to find new opportunities here though. And I keep saying new opportunities, new opportunities, new opportunities, but there's a lot of new energies that are coming in so quickly. They're just surfing their way over. Check the time one more time. Cause I'm going to have to wrap it up here. All right. I got another 10 minutes or so. I think I got a good feel for when 10 minutes or so are up. Let's get a few more of these. This god coming right back up on top here. Cosmic guidance, yeah. I was already saying you were being you were being protected by like freaking primordial energy at this point. With the void source card and with uh, ancient ones. Ice purification. Yeah, definitely I'd tell you you might want to just take a bath for the sake of just trying to relax yourself and also to just kind of really soak and cleanse yourself because it will help you with that alchemical process that you're going through. And it will also help you to sort of feel a sense of closeness with yourself, I'm hearing. Um, even if you just have to like uh, clean up a little bit more than usual, I, I I always try to like see if I can take the time to do that. I just haven't really felt like taking a bath. I felt more like taking showers. So showers are fine too. But um, let's see the owl. More guidance, more cosmic guidance, more more teachers and guides, guides and ancestors right there. Yeah, this is and protection slash protected on the back of the deck. Whatever the situation is that's been causing a lot of issues, you are completely, you have like a barrier of insulation around you in a way. Um, although, although it may seem at first glance that it, that it's, especially just family matters there. Um, although it may seem at first glance that, that you are at risk of a lot of bad things happening, I think that you will be surprised to find out that not many of the terrible things actually happen. Um, and if you are feeling a lot of anxiety, then I recommend that you take that time to, as we said in the beginning, maybe talk to a therapist, or I can put a whole bunch of links down in the description that I've been using for uh, a few different websites and uh, a YouTube channel that are quite helpful, good guides. Um, and people that you could just either chat with or call if you're in the U.S. So that would be something that you may want to look into if you have a lot of issues with like anxiety, with depression, with whatever the case may be. So you can actually discuss with somebody, but also, um, just practice doing like deep breathing exercise, practice breathing, not just in your upper, the upper portion of your ribs and your lungs, but deeply breathing down into your belly and letting that, that become if you practice letting that become like the normal way that you breathe, where you normally breathe through your belly, I've gotten to that point, honestly, and it's my, my favorite way to breathe now. It can be really painful when you first begin to, but that practice of deep breathing, I can only, I can only say it so many times before I become a broken record, but it really is very, very important. Um, that was, uh, that was, um, in my, in my previous setup there, the video that came out, I think right before this one, Jaguar. Definitely, definitely very protected and challenged to go out. There are many paths that are available to you. I think that's what I was trying to say instead of, because I got stuck on the many opportunities thing, like new opportunities, but there are many paths that are available to you right now. And this Jaguar spirit, I think I will actually read from the book for, because she is excellent. And I love her message. I kept that on my desk for a little while. The Jaguar is the protector of all life in the Amazon. 
I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I understand it from a, from a, a spiritual perspective. And in times of fear, she brings courage and certainty. Jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. With a great stealth, she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard. She moves gracefully through the jungle, relishing the abundance of the rainforest, fearless and at ease. Jaguar knows the ways beyond death and is the matter of the shadows, blending invisibly beyond, between light and dark, night and day. Jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you, to go outside your normal routine, to push your limits and boundaries. She is delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown, to venture forth on these many paths into the mystery and the dark places you have been reluctant to explore. Toss all caution to the wind and know that Jaguar, know that your Jaguar instinct, instinct will serve you well. Call on Jaguar to unfetter you from toxic relationships and recover your animal instinct for the right people and situations. Yeah, that's the thing is a lot of us, I think the biggest feeling that I was picking up on this is that like people here know that something was like just wrong. Like there's a lot of people uh, I think who are listening to this who, who, have, who, who just know that something was done in the wrong way. And there's like this bitterness about it. And I completely understand that. But at the same time, Focusing on that bitterness is definitely going to be taking away a little bit from the joy that you want to be experiencing in, the, in these situations. Even if you are still in the midst of a really difficult one, trying to carve out those pieces of joy are a, is a form of rebellion. And it is the most effective form of rebellion that you can really find because that means that your mind hasn't really been affected by what's been going on. Yeah. Know when to strike, know, when, know what and when to fight for. The rain is, uh, it doesn't, it, it falls for everything, but it doesn't necessarily fall on our own schedule. There are many things in place, the rain maker and the earth keeper especially. This is one of those situations where uh, I'm, I'm called back to like, the way that I felt upon realizing that many of the beautiful things that I'd experienced in my life in nature that just seemed to randomly happen were in fact actual things that I was sort of maybe meant to see in a way in order for me to be able to survive the situations I was going through because those things really did. Like I went out into the forest many times with intent to maybe not come back. Um, and every single time I just saw stuff that was so beautiful and comforting that I just forgot all about what I was worried about and went back home. I, I cannot express to you how, how meaningful some of these things can be. And to have gotten to the point where I feel so grateful for it and to realize that I kind of just ignored it for so long made me feel very bad. So try to pay some respect to that beautiful sunset you see, to the, the stars themselves. If you happen to go out and go look at some, star, some stars at night, do some stargazing. Pay some respect to the beauty that you see on the grand scale that ca isn't created by anyone else. Um, in order to, in order to maybe foster a closer relationship with that, because you're never really met with a, you're met with a, you're met with a kind grandmother energy with those sorts of things. I promise you, um, you're met with a, Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. You want another cookie kind of an energy, not, not a, not a, Oh, well, yeah, you should have appreciated us more, but I'm definitely getting, getting a lot of energies of there's so much around you. Uh, whether you believe in spirits that hold up certain things or not, you have this natural flow with the energies of life. Um, and you are very well kept and very protected in, in a lot of the things that you are going through. Um, I, was, uh, I was getting earlier today when I was doing a little bit of uh, on-the-spot reading during one of my live setups. I was doing, not live, it was a premiere rather, but um, I... Um, I was getting this feeling of like uh, some of us aren't even noticing how much work that our guides are doing because either they don't believe in it or they don't want to deal with it. And their guides are happy that they're just living the life that they want to live basically is the best way of, of, of describing that. Like not to, not, to, not to overly press into that kind of a thing because I do like to keep this as psychological as well as, as spiritual on this, on this channel. But that was really just the feeling that I was getting. Like whatever it is that is guiding them 
I mean, that's how most guys would be, wouldn't it? Like, they're just here to guide you. They're not here to necessarily stop you from becoming the person you're you're becoming. They're here to help you become the person you're becoming. So if it in- included other things besides worrying about them, then all the better for it in certain situations. But for those of us who do care about that kind of a thing, definitely take the time to feel that gratitude as best as you can, even if it's just appreciating a good sunset and being feeling lucky just for being in that moment. Feeling lucky is just as good as gratitude. It's just as good as gratitude. It's just a a different, maybe it's just animism. Maybe it's any number of things. We could, we could talk through the entire night about what things are actually meaningful and which things are not in these situations. But I don't know. All I, all I can really say, especially what is this? 30? No, that's 32, 40. 32, 42, 28 and 34. 18. I thought we had some back and forth repeating numbers here. Maybe some of those would be useful for some of you. I don't really do angel number stuff, but I do like a good repeating number. And then the arrow. Yeah. Whatever one of those paths you want to take um, for this collective, and this is where I'm going to close it out. uh, Whatever path it is you want to take, you just draw back that bow and you notch that arrow and you let it fly once you know you have your mark in in sight. Um, Just, just, just go for it is what I'm hearing. There's and, and don't don't hurt anybody, obviously. I'm not saying go for it and go hurt somebody. But um if it comes to something that you've been positively thinking about having in your life in some way, shape, or form, if it's coming uh, like a, a new hobby, something that you'd rather do to uh to de stress, whatever it is, explore these new paths. Explore these new paths in front of you. And then once you find something you like, take a shot at it because you have a lot of those wishes coming in. We had all of these incredible cards back here, but one of the bigger ones was this nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment card, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, And those wishes are going to be fulfilled if you take that shot. So, all right. I wish you the best. I hope this was coherent because I was trying my best to get through it, but I was feeling like four or five different com- competing conversations in my in in my periphery at the same time, um, just through like the messages that were trying to come through with, and all the different energies that I was picking up on. So it was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated, but I am still happy I got to spend a bit of time with you guys. I hope that this was useful to you. The serpent, yeah. Mother Earth wants to wants to. You need to just put your damn bare feet in the dirt and feel the ground again a little bit don't step on any bees though because that'll hurt um or you need to you need to be touching some soil or getting some plants and stuff like that uh something you or even just taking walks in the park that 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 could be enough um you need some more earth the serpent especially that's a that's a mother earth card and we have the earth keeper as well so please take care uh, I wish you all of the best. If you are dealing with a really negative, toxic relationship, Katie Morton, which I'm going to put her description or her YouTube below, she does have some advice on dealing with these kinds of situations. Uh, she is a licensed therapist. She's one of the best people I've ever seen on YouTube, and she has years of content. Uh, I'm not being sponsored to say this. I'm just saying it because I think that she's one of the best resources I could offer to people who I don't know. Um, if you have a specific situation, you're more than welcome to share without putting too much personal information in the comments and I can try to redirect you somewhere that would be better. But um, other than that, I wish you all of the best. I will be here. So if you have any questions or if you'd like any, uh, any advice on anything in particular, so I can maybe create a new reading around that, feel free to put that in the comments below. I do offer personal readings and I do have a tip jar available as well. So if you'd like to partake in either of those options, I would very much appreciate it, but there is no pressure. Uh, And also if you'd like to leave a thumbs up or if you'd like to subscribe, I also very much appreciate that as well. And with that, I will leave you there. Thank you for spending this time with me. I very much appreciate it. Just know that whatever it is that is pushing down on you so heavily at the moment, it is definitely going to be relaxed soon. It it will be relaxed soon, I promise. And you have a lot of different options available to you. You might need to take a different path to get there, but you will be able to see how the serpent goes, able to, able to seek out the best path among many. And we have almost the same imagery here. Uh, you will, you are being given gifts in the future that will be helping you significantly, whether those be spiritual, whether those be emotional, whether those be just the fruits of your own labor, you have a lot coming in. So I wish you the best and bye-bye.